In this episode of D-Tank's Ball Reviews, we're gonna be checking out the brand new Global 900 Reality. So we're comparing one ball from each respective company under the Storm umbrella. So the Proton Physics, the Reality, and the RST. All right, so let's check out this Reality. Let's see what we got here. We got kind of steep there, right quick, kind of burned up. Let's try to keep our lines a little more in front of us. Now we'll play around with ball speeds, axis rotations, things like that throughout the video like we always do. Just to show you how versatile these bowling balls can be. This one seems to be definitely a little bit cleaner, but a little more forward. I think the Proton wants to pick up earlier and get off the spot harder. That adds a lot of versatility of what you can do with the bowling ball. So I'm gonna go to the Proton Physics right now. In the same spot, we've got the same layout here. Here we go, same spot. They're close enough. So out of all these three bowling balls, I would recommend picking one. Now in a previous video, how to build your arsenal, we talked about the different categories that you want your bowling balls to fill. And you don't want all three of these bowling balls if you're gonna have a six ball arsenal because they're gonna probably fill the same category. All right, we're gonna throw one more shot in the same spot. I don't think we should ball in lane six anymore. We can't throw strikes. All right, we're gonna move on to our third piece, the Roto Grip RST X1. Uh, if I had to guess, I can assume that if it was laid out like the other ones, it would just be a little bit smoother. But we're gonna throw it from the same spot as well. We'll throw one more shot and then go back to the top with the reality. Take a chunk to the left and we'll keep going from there. But let's give the RST one more shot. Cut. Can we give some of this? There you go. Run it back one more time. One more shot with the RST. Maybe I'll let this one go. Definitely corners a little bit harder. Cleanest one out of the three asymmetric balls we have here today. Let's start moving left. This video is sponsored by Vice Interchangeable Thumb. Stick it in, twist it, click, good to go. I'm just kidding, they're not sponsoring this video, but I am sponsored by Vice, so. Interchangeable thumbs are nice if you use your thumb. All right, now we're gonna take a big chunk to the left and make a bunch of adjustments. So we're gonna drop our ball speed, get around it a little more, maybe hit it a little harder too. Woo! Aside from the shot quality, the shape didn't look too bad. It was a little late. Tell me there's a lot of oil out there because these bowling balls are pretty strong. Thinking we can either strain up our angles to give our ball a little more time to hook or we can just throw it slower and keep moving left. Let's see if Reality can snap the 10 this time. And if not, I think the adjustment would be the Proton because it hooks a little earlier. That core is just a little more dynamic. I'm gonna move my eyes in a board. Throw it a little slower too. That was the play, but not a convincing strike. So we're gonna make the ball change. A pinup reality would look a little bit better. Like we said about the RSC being pinup, it's gonna create a little more shape. And being this far left, that's just what we need. So hopefully the bowling ball itself will get the job done for us. Same thing, lower ball speed, a little more axis rotation. Proton physics was actually a little too much. It got off the spot harder, and it was earlier. Jesse's behind the camera, and he said, I only do this ball once in this spot. And I throw it again. Listen to your editor. They know best. All right, maybe we pick the ball speed up just a touch. If you want a ball that hooks, oh my god, that ball hooks. But this is kind of confirming what I've been told about the reality versus the proton physics. Reality is a little bit cleaner and a little bit smoother. We're just confirming facts right now. Based on what I'm seeing so far, reality is probably going to be better when I want to play straighter. Get my hand up the back of it. And then as I start progressing, see more head oil, I can go into a proton physics, which seems backwards because the proton's stronger, but it wants to line up a little faster. But I think that's the biggest difference between the two. RST, same spot as the proton. I think it's a little easier to get through the front. I honestly would probably go to the RST before the Proton just because it'll be able to keep line longer getting through the front part of the lane. Just because we're gonna get in front of the ball turn, 
Let's see what these balls do. You've seen the RST in front of the ball return before. And honestly, they look pretty good. But we'll see how these look, and I'll let you make an assessment of whether or not you should throw these in front of the ball return. My guess is gonna be no, <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe not. Throwing the blooper reel. You guys didn't see that last shot. We're gonna try to hit the pocket, and we're gonna try to strike. Ah, we're just gonna hope it strikes. Should I even try the other balls? Let me show you how it's done. All right. Good luck, bro. The rolls have been reversed. Let me know how good I'm doing. How good of a camera job. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're putting that in, right? <laughs> I think we should both stick to our jobs. Take two. In front of the bar return, Jesse with the brand new 900 Global Reality. Is it? Oh, God. Well, in recent light of events, um, I think the lanes just aren't developed enough to play that part of the lane, especially with bowling balls this strong. And typically, we're not throwing the strongest balls possible in front of the ball return because that kind of defeats the purpose of getting that far left. So I'm just going to move back to the right. Nut one for you guys. Call it a day. And that's the reality for you.